everyone, this is Billy. In part one of this dishwasher project that I started a year ago, I've tested the concept of using a long sprinkler with a powerful pump to wash your dish. This concept was well accepted by many of you and you encouraged me to finish the product. So in episode two, we created this drawing and the program to run the test on the blackboard to prove that we can use the program to control the pumps, heaters, and other things to make up our dishwasher. Then in part three of the video, we created this controller, put it in a water sealed box, and ready to be installed in our final product. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce to you my final product that we put everything together. Reason why I keep delaying uh, publishing this project is I want to make sure it's safe before I publish the video. And you also need to be careful about all the high voltage electricity being used here. So make sure you have the right knowledge or supervised by someone who have that knowledge or certificate. In certain countries, you need a certificate before you can operate on high voltage. So just a disclaimer that uh, you must uh, be careful about this and do the right precaution, insulate yourself before you work on the high voltage. The extra heat coming from the heater will be very high. It's heating up the water, but if you don't have water and just dry running the heater, it may burn up the box and cause fire. So be extra careful dealing with the heater. Uh, this project can run without a heater. If you don't want to risk hurting yourself, with the heater, you can just do not apply the heater. Just disconnect the heater and just use the rest of the function. It will still be able to clean up the dish. Only that with the heater, uh, the oily subject will be easily removed, even without the detergent for your dishwasher. Otherwise, you need a detergent and you can wash your dish very clean. So electronic kits that you need to create the controller, you need these additional electrical parts. You need a durable plastic box from IKEA, steel baskets for dishes, the long sprinkler head, a wash pump 85 volt, a drain pump 25 volt, and a 1000 volt heater. This is optional. A solenoid used by the washing machines to control the water inflow. Let me show you my finished product. So we have the IKEA plastic box and a basket made of steel. So we just screw a few nails to the plastic box so to, to hold the washing basket. On the top we have an acrylic uh, cover, but you can buy the original IKEA cover. I just use the acrylic so I can demonstrate to you what's working inside. So we have the controller mounted on top and we have the solenoid for the washing machine that will control the inflow of water. You see I insulated all the contacts to avoid electrical shock. Uh, the water will be stopped unless the solenoid is activated to release it. So this is the controller. All the wiring is going through this PVC pipe with an elbow joint going all the way to the bottom of the tank. Uh, we can switch open the cover, moving, turning sideways. You see the PVC pipe with the cable going down. Let me take out the basket. Let me show you the main component of the washing machine. Pump. We have the 55 watts. Wash pump, 85 watts, is connected to this sprinkler used for watering the lungs. Let me unscrew it and show you uh, the thread. So this sprinkler has a very nice thread that matches with the washing pump. And once the water comes out, the water pressure will cause the sprinkler to turn and spray at the dishes at all angles. So the threads are matching, so we just screw 
by turning it and fastening it to the pump. Make sure you don't fasten it too hard, otherwise it will stop swinging. Right. So the other component which is optional is this hot water tub heater. It is very hot. It may melt the plastic if it is run dry with the water, so be careful. Um, you may want to the last component is to drainage install it pump. with some this one is heat tolerating pump. material at the base this one is just to lift it up a bit don't let it touch the plastic directly this, this is a drain pump 15 watts it needs to be powerful enough to drain the dirty water up the exhaust pipe so I use the agric uh, cover so you can see what's going on inside uh, this is the washing basket for dishes it needs to be small enough to be uh, put on this tank and not push too deep otherwise it will stop the sprinkler turning okay I've hooked up everything now let's do a dry run we'll first select the test program called wash test long press and then start long press again start with the draining of water the drain so aquarium water in the box has been drained out by the drain pump and then next the inflow of water water will be flowing in uh, as allowed by the solenoid the solenoid is activated opening the gates for water to come in after that the wash pump will start to run. You hear the music from the wash pump. It's quite loud, but uh, because I'm using the acrylic port for the transparent effect, so you can see what's going on. When you build this box, you can use stronger material that seals the sound a bit. The cycle starts again with the drain, and then the inflow of water. and then the wash again so the sprinkler is spraying high pressure water to the dish to clean it up the display shows which cycle you have is you have two remaining cycles c2 there with raining again and this is all presectable in the Arduino program you can go back to my pro, uh, part 2 to look at the program I've uploaded the latest codes there after the testing so you can feel free to adjust the timing of these wash cycles C1 means you have one more cycle to wash uh, the temperature is rising because H1 heater is on uh, T the temperature is 30 56 43 Celsius so one second remaining for the wash now we are draining again this is all an accelerated test mode. In the actual watch cycle program, the normal program, all this will be uh, extended to minutes. I just want to run through the quickest test cycle so you know how it works. Now this is the last watch cycle, C0, means no remaining watch cycle. This is the last one. We have 5 seconds, 4 seconds, 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 second, zero seconds so we finish and now we are draining the water after that the wash cycle will be completed very soon now we are into the last cycle the drain cycle uh, the drying cycle at this cycle the heater will be turned on heating up the one inch of water at the bottom that will generate steam the steam will, uh, will uh, dry up the so this is completed. Now the test is complete. Just a fair bit of warning here. Uh, the heater, depending on which type you use, is gets very hot and may hurt you. So you need to be careful and have the appropriate knowledge before you attempt this project. Uh, the heater, the high voltage electricity may be harmful. So make sure you always insulate yourself when uh, dealing with this 
and get the right knowledge before you try it. In some countries, this is uh, depending on your local regulation, you may not be even uh, allowed to do this type of electricity work. So just be careful. And the heater cannot be used without water, otherwise it will burn up the cage or burn up the box. So be extra careful. Uh, if you like my video, please click like, subscribe, and send to your friends to watch too. Until the next time, thank you and bye.